Last week, on Friday the 11th of June, Michael Packard, a lobster diver, was diving for lobsters off Provincetown, Massachusetts in Cape Cod. It was a normal day up until the point when he was swallowed by a humpback whale. So Packard was 45 feet below the surface of the water when he said he saw everything go dark and he felt this enormous bump. Now he didn't feel any pain, he felt no teeth, so he quickly concluded that he was inside the mouth of a whale. Luckily for him, he still had his scuba gear on, he was able to breathe, and he spent about 30 seconds, by his estimate, inside this whale's mouth before it swam up to the surface, shook its head, and then very summarily spat him out. He was then hauled aboard his boat by his crewmate, and he actually survived the ordeal with nothing worse than a dislocated knee. Obviously this news has gotten experts talking about how common an occurrence it is for human beings to be swallowed whole by whales. Thankfully, outside of the Book of Jonah and Moby Dick, it's actually really, really rare. The only time that you're gonna run a risk of being swallowed by a humpback is if you're swimming near an object in the water that marine biologists call a bait ball. And a bait ball is this swirling mass of small fish, like sardines, that forms when they're hemmed in on all sides by predators. What a humpback whale will do when it spots a bait ball in the water is it will line itself up, unhook its jaw, swing open its mouth by 90 degrees, and then, with a single swipe from its powerful tail, it will lunge at the fish before snapping its mouth shut. And inside that mouth is now a whole load of water and a whole load of fish, and what it does is it's able to strain that water out through these special plates called baleen plates, which it has instead of teeth. Inside will just be the fish, which you can swallow down. The engulfment capacity of humpback whales is 500,000 kilograms, so that's ample space to fit an adult human being. But you're probably not gonna end up in their stomachs. And that's because despite having this enormous mouth, they have very, very tiny throats, only four to eight inches in diameter. And that means that if you are to die inside a humpback whale, it's more likely that you'll die inside its mouth, probably from a blow by its tongue, which it weighs four tons. One last thing to note is that if you are in a position to pick the species of whale that swallows you alive, definitely don't pick a sperm whale. Unlike humpback whales, sperm whales have evolved to predate upon 180 kilogram sized giant squid, and they swallow them whole. So there's definitely enough room to fit a live human being into one of its four stomachs. Now, once you end up in one of these four stomachs, you're probably going to asphyxiate on uh, digestive gases. And then after that point, you're gonna be pulped down by these powerful stomach muscles into a kind of mince, which is then gonna be digested by digestive juices. So, yeah, uh, try and avoid that one.